Uh, hi guys, welcome to another video from uh, Raymouth Studio. Uh, this is a video I wanted to do uh, for a while now, um, to introduce The Baron's War, uh, one of my two favorite games at the moment. Um, uh, you know, just a great medieval uh, 13th century um, conflict uh, war game, uh, skirmish game. Um, I uh, get my attention drawn to it because of the Welsh range that Futsal Miniatures um, were uh, promoting um, at the end of the last year, I think November. Uh, and I really liked it, and I've sent it to my gaming group. Uh, we are based in Wales, so, you know, that was uh, a right thing to do. And uh, funny enough, Ian, um, a friend from the group, mentioned, oh, uh, said, oh, I actually um, spoke with someone, with my friend about this game uh, two days ago. And before we knew it, we were, like, browsing armies, uh, retinues, um, you know, finding a ways to get uh, involved. Um, and uh, Mark joined the group and soon after I was playing my demo game in Cardiff at Firestorm. I think that must have been November um, 2022. And I fell in love with it immediately. Um, before even I went to play that demo. I ordered these two books, uh, two, these two books and that miniature, um, but they didn't arrive in time. Uh, so I just went there and played with Mark's uh, miniatures. And um, I fell in love, as I said, and uh, I really needed to get uh, my own retinue going. And as Firestorm didn't have any uh, food source stock at that time. I looked for anything that I could use uh, to play uh, the game. And as I was really excited about, you know, a crusading conflict and the Ultramar book that was about to come out uh, soon, uh, I decided I wanted to build a Templar um, army. So uh, the rule book and death and taxes, uh, they, they were actually on offer. Uh, you could get two for 20 pounds or something like that. And what I really liked about this one is that uh, death and taxes had like rules for Knights Templar. Uh, so that was that was pretty cool. But after, coming back to the game, after the game, I went downstairs and the only stuff that I could find was uh, fire, uh, fire forge uh, miniatures. I bought a box of uh, foot knights and a box of uh, mounted knights, uh, Templar knights uh, from there. And you know, I painted it. I was quite happy with uh, with the with the painting style I chose for it. I wanted to th them to look. Uh, you know, worn and, you know, in after battle or whatnot, like really gritty uh, feel to them. Uh, I painted some crossbowmen uh, and very quickly, I think within a month or two, I had like a force uh, ready to play. Uh, first 500 and then 750. Uh, but uh, when I ordered a um, Futsor uh, box uh, set of uh, Templar Knights, uh, I was just amazed by them. In comparison with these guys, uh, they have so much more character. And I was like, no, that's it. Uh, I am just going to invest in Futsor stuff uh, now. S and really really like these miniatures this is my favorite guy i think you know what i mean it's just a really really nice sculpts absolutely love them so yeah so my army was growing uh, and i went to my first tournament um uh, in that was actually my first gaming tournament. I didn't know uh, how to behave. <laughs> I was a little bit wild, I could say. But on that tournament, actually organized by Mark, who Mark Vance, who showed me the game, uh, 
I, uh, I, I, I was quite successful. I won two games and I lost so-called final. Uh, in the end, didn't grab anything. But what I came back um, with from that place is the Ultramar book. Uh, and I thought, you know, I really want to uh, focus on that and create a Conf, uh, you know, create table for for that conflict, and I I painted some buildings um, like this one, and uh, you know, all this, um, and then I bought some more miniatures when they came out. Now uh, I have plenty to paint, but you know, uh, started to make like a Ultramar uh, army, if you know what I mean, uh, because. You know, I can use these guys if I really want to, but I, I, I want the bases to be uh, more adequate to the uh, to the conflict, uh, geographical space of the conflict. Anyway, I've done some uh, <coughs> palms, palm trees, uh, some terrain. Uh, I bought some rocks and uh, little hills. Uh, so I have quite a lot for that now and uh, you know can play my games uh, in the uh, in Ultramar um, at the same time I was building table for um, British geography like English side of the conflict you know island uh, so uh, and painted this from Warhost which is Andy Hobday's um, 3D uh, model printing company uh and uh yeah they are i really like how thick they are they are you can actually print them uh, and build you know print walls and build them but i really like how they are um you know as a one piece so i was i was doing that so i have probably two tables now worth of of things um but uh i get really involved in the community uh, and uh, you know, getting to know Mark Farr uh, and Andy uh, at that first uh, tournament in Sheffield, um, I felt like I want to organize some events as well. So, organized first uh, in uh, Cardiff. And I'm gonna post links because I wrote, made a write-up about each of the tournaments I participated or organized. I'm gonna post the link uh, down below. And uh, then another one in uh, Nottingham at BritCon, which was quite amazing. I really enjoyed it. We had an article in Wargames Illustrated printed. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, it was just great fun. So I wanted to continue. And then Mark uh, made uh, Grand Melee, uh, announced Grand Melee, the British Championship, uh, which I thought it was pretty cool, pretty cool thing. So uh, I signed up a long time ago and uh, it, uh, the tournament took place like last week or so, uh, Sunday, and I was lucky enough to win uh, the competition uh, and became the British champion, uh, as weird as it sounds. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I I really enjoyed the event. It was very well organized. Futsal is great. Um, uh, and uh, community driven community uh, uh, company they came Mark, uh, George and Andy were there and Dom Sor who also writes for them uh, was there uh, and it was just a good atmosphere some good games uh, were hard uh, I won the first two lost the third uh, and then again uh, had some luck in the last game and came first with just one point difference between uh, three people that shared third, second, third and fourth place. Uh, the games were really, really, really cool, especially remember two of them very well. Uh, and last one uh, versus Sam, who I've met on the first tournament I went to, was just this, one of the smoothest experiences I had. So, uh, 
and uh, you know for winning uh, the competition the tournament i was uh, uh, able to choose an army and uh, i thought i really like vikings the stuff that was uh, other stuff that was on uh, you know i could choose from i kind of already had there was monks that i have plenty of and they were um, actually i can show you the monks as i speak so i ha i have quite a few uh, of these guys uh, all painted up so i didn't need any more of that stuff and i have plenty more knights to paint as well uh, so i was like okay let me grab something different and as baron's war have also a uh, rule set for dark ages you know saxons and vikings and uh, normans and whatnot i thought i'm just gonna pick the box uh, box of vikings so i have another army here um to paint so Ultramer and then some uh, Viking stuff which is cool I don't know when I'm going to get on to do it but it's here when I need it which is exciting and uh, another uh, thing that uh, me and Mark get for you know being active in the community is uh, each of us got a uh, 45 hospital uh amazing print from the last kickstarter uh and uh, i think it would be pretty nice to make a video of uh you know uh putting this thing together uh look at the detail and stuff uh so i think i'm going to make a video on re uh, building and uh painting progress uh, maybe not necessarily the tutorial, but my like you know stage and different stages of doing that. So yeah, uh, so we can expect that. And I think more importantly, um, me and Mark started to make videos uh, about um, about the game, uh, rules of the game, and that will be coming soon in. Uh, weekly be weekly installments i'm i'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do that but we recorded enough material to uh, to make one long or a few short videos that in which mark explains the rules uh, of baron's war uh, we are hoping to uh, accept from like tutorials or progress videos like the one with the uh, hospital 45 hospital we hope to get some um battle reports in and who knows what else maybe interviews as well uh but that's it for now this is this is my this is my uh project oh before i go i wanted to show you this as well uh this is actually a little mashup i did little kid bash um with between fire forge and futsal miniatures you know i thought that monk uh is he's actually from this book uh just asks to become a warrior uh he was actually on the donkey which is amazing miniature but i wanted to have like a much more um uh, aggressive looking battle ready mini so i um just gave him a spear and put him on a on a horse and painted it all up and i'm quite happy uh how that looked like so didn't use him in games much uh, since um because my list seems to be slightly different but uh, yeah that's that's it so uh you can expect more uh baron's war um Baron's War content from uh, uh, from this channel uh, that will be produced by myself, recorded and sh and and uh, uh, led by uh, Mark, uh, who will be explaining the game to to new players. Uh, so that's it for today, and keep your eyes open. Uh, you know, as always, subscribe and like, uh, and let people know. Uh, that uh, there is some Baron's War content coming uh, your way. So thanks, guys, and speak to you soon.